Oh, hello. Filming something today? I'm sorry? All the makeup, I just assumed. I'm not wearing makeup. Oh, okay. Congratulations to Alexi for winning this uh, July contest with his amazing animation here. Um, let's start by playing it one time here. Oh, hello. Filming something today? I'm sorry? All the makeup, I just assumed. I'm not wearing makeup. Oh, okay. Fantastic animation. So uh, I'm Jason Martinson. Um, you can find out more about me at my website, jmartinson.com. I've worked on a lot of uh, films and video games over the years. Um, and uh, currently I'm working at Framestore. Uh, and I've been a mentor at Animation Mentor for uh, about 13 years. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, uh, let's talk about how awesome this is. Uh, I love the snappy timing of the guy in the background. Oh, hello. Filming something today? I'm sorry. It's really good oh, weight. Makeup, I just assumed. Lots of good mechanics. Makeup. And uh, the lip sync is really good. The eye, eye darts, there's a lot of organic offsets. Uh, the breakdowns are great. The, the super appealing pose. Um, um, posing. So everything here is just working awesome. It's not really uh, something that is easy to critique. Uh, I'm going to talk about what's working great and just give you a few things that you could consider if you wanted. So I love uh, the entrance here, the way he slides in. It's awesome. And I like how you have this little dip down and up. That's great. Super cool. It could be fun if you wanted just as like more of a smear entrance to have this arm a little bit lower as on this first frame and then coming up, right? So it'd just be down there by his hip. Maybe you could even overshoot it a bit. So it's more in silhouette here above the filmmaking book. And then somewhere around here would be the high point and it could drop back down. It would just give it like a little bit of extra texture and bounce, but it wouldn't change much of your animation. It'd be like this little coming in. Um, pose wise, I think it's great. You're, you're a little bit three quarters here on his face. And it could be nice if you went full profile and you got something slightly more graphic there because this is such a graphic pose. It's also unfortunate that he's overlapping his face here. It would be cool if he was a little bit more in silhouette, but simple solution to that actually, because I like his screen space here, would be to move this guy back a little bit just by tapping the bench and him, just to clear it up so you don't have that overlap. And then I like how he stands up here. It feels a little bit IK on this backhand. It feels like it's pinned in place for a few frames here. So maybe as he's coming up, this could drop a bit for, with it and then go up and over. So it does like a down, up, over or something. Just feels a little frozen. I like the idea of isolated movement, but I think if you're gonna do the isolated movement, you would want it to be like completely frozen. Otherwise I would have it not pinned. It's like, right, especially in these two frames, it's really feeling a little IK. But the front arm timing is awesome. Oh, hello. I love that little like frustrated oh, swing back is really good snappiness. Oh, hello. And then on the other guy, he has this cool little brow move. I don't know why that drawing is not showing up. When he notices, he like looks with his eyes first and then his brows come up. And I like that there's an offset there, but I would probably on this frame, cause the eyes are moving so much and you have a great eye dart where you have 90% of the move and then like a cushion the last 5% or whatever. That's how eyes do dart. Um, I would probably have the eye brows start to move a little bit on this frame, kind of like you have on the next frame, maybe even a little bit more than it is on 37. So it's not so much like eyes 
then browse. So it's a little bit more overlapped and connected. Right now it feels a little broken. It's like moving a ton on frame 38, the browse, and the eyes are moving a ton on 36. I, and I think you can move the eyes on 36 the most, but on the brows should be on 37. So you would cushion in the brows on 36 and it would flow a little bit better, that look over. And you could probably do it a couple frames of cushion out on the brows. So it would still finish like 38 to 39 would still look the same. Um, the dart back is working better. You can see how the brows and the eyes are connected. And I love the little the little shrug here. It could be nice if you led with one shoulder. So maybe on this frame, this shoulder is coming up a little bit more and the shoulder stays pinned and then they both come up. So you just get a little bit of an offset, one, two, but it's just like a frame. So it's, it's like hard to see. It's just something you feel. Hello. Um, going back to the other guy, he does this awesome pose change. His fist just feels, his finger pose feels a little locked. So it could be cool if you open his hand a little bit more, somewhere around 82, 83, 84, just a little bit, like uncurl the fists, right? And that way from 84 to 89, you could get like a clenching. You feel it as he tightens his hand. You feel this like little tightening of the fist. Maybe even do one, two, three, like these two go first. Just get a little organic offset, right? Same with these fingers. They're moving a little bit, but it could be cool if one or two of them are moving and the other one isn't as much. So you get like a little bit of they're disconnected. I'm talking pixels. This is like super polishy stuff. And I think it would be fun to actually have this thumb come up a frame or two before the hand moves. So he's like, it draws your eye. Doug Sweetland does this a lot in Presto if you watch. He, he does these pre-antics where he draws your eye to where he wants you to look. So there's a shot where in, in Presto where he has the character eating and then he licks his thumb. But before he licks his thumb, because you're looking at him chewing, he does like this little thumb twitch. And then your eye goes to the thumb. It's like, and then you see the, so here's the same principle. So you're kind of missing it. You don't really read it until he's already sniffing it. But if you did a little antic, maybe even the whole hand goes like down away from where it's gonna come up. So you get like a frame down. And as the frame goes down, the thumb comes up. And then you have this. So it's really just changing frames like 96, 97 maybe. And then the rest is the same. Like 98 would be the same. Just the thumb would be already up and all this would be the same. And, that, and then the audience wouldn't miss that sniff because on, on top of that, you're competing with this guy talking, right? This guy feels really natural the way his offset with the, I love the handoff with the book, the weight of the book, the arm coming down. Something today. Lip sync feels good. Filming something today. Nice and crisp. Filming something today. You have some Filming good something. brow accents. You could probably do some micro lid accents. You know, you have the brows going up and like here, the brows are going up a lot, but I don't feel much in the lids. So maybe around here, you could, you know, from here to here, as the brows go down, you could actually compress the lids a little bit. And that way you could open the lids to this pose from 21 to 24. And that way you feel the lids and the brows are a little bit connected. There's more fleshiness. Another thing you could do with super polishy is connecting the corners of the nostrils to the corners of the mouth. You know, you do a pass where if you're doing a big smile, then out the nostril comes out and up a little bit. And then when you go down to ooze, it comes down a little bit. And this is like micro polish, polish stuff, but it's fun to do. Um, today i also love this little take he does uh this guy here but i think it might be funny because he does so many little movements you see he, he has something today he has something that move today. that move that move Sorry. that move so maybe just for comedy sake don't do any move on his head i mean if you want you could do it in the arms he's in this pose and it's just his eyes and maybe the mouth a little dropping but keeping kind of the same expression and then you have this take the same the, the, with the eye blink. Yeah. So rather than having a head move here, I think you could leave the arm move. Maybe not the arm move is necessary, but I don't think it would cause any problems. Filming something today? I, th I think you still get the comedy of the head not moving, just the eyes pop. I'm sorry. And then now that's great. The little head shake. You could even push it more. I'm sorry. You know, maybe the Y rotation could be a little bit more. This brow shift is nice too. Whoa. 
on this head move, he's looking back to his his enemy and his head. You know, maybe when, when he comes over like this, you you rotate his head a little bit more in Z, like orienting him towards this guy. It's a little, I'm sorry. And then when he does this look back, it straightens back to this. You're like, I'm sorry. You know, it tilts back to what you have here. And then that would be a little crisper and you'd feel the direction of his attention. I'm sorry. Feeling today. I'm sorry. All the. I'm sorry. All the makeup. All right. All the makeup. I'm sorry. All the makeup. The duck right. feels great. I love the little cartoony take. This guy starts talking again. Um, and you have like the brows go down and then up and a lot of stuff happening, but this part feels a little still. So I might have it do a little bit of an antic with the fingers and the hand starting around frames 168 or 167, just a few frames earlier. But the... All the makeup, I just assumed. All the makeup. The lip sync feels good. It's a, it's a little late. I think I'm feeling the P on 184 up. So I would want to move this sync a frame earlier. And here it's opening right on the sound. It's nice to open it a frame before the sound. For the just, you kind of like, I just, I might do all the makeup. I j so you get a just. So the J is a little more. So around 88, 89, you'd have a narrow shape. I just, I just. Because right now it kind of stays. Yep. All the makeup, I just assume it's kind of stays wide, and I think you can get a little more in and out, like you did on the earlier lip sync. There was some nice filming something today. There was some nice way, you know, today. All the makeup, I just assume. But on all the makeup, I just it kind of stays out the corners. So just you could have an opportunity to go just, just maybe not as much as I'm acting out. All the makeup, I just assume. But that feels awesome. Makeup, I just assume. I'm not wearing makeup. Makeup, I just assumed. And here's another period of time where uh, his hand feels like you could do something with the fingers. All the kind of frozen from 179 just to 216. So maybe there's just a little like, little, did it do something or a little bit of an adjustment or something in the in the fingers, not in the hand. I'm not wearing. I'm not. Wearing I love the way the arc you have you know, of this head coming up and the delay where you lead with the arms, the chest, and then the arms, and then the head. It's a really good offset in this. All the makeup, I just assumed. I'm not assumed. I might not have this knee come in as much here, like just orient the pull vector more towards us because it's a bit like a, the most thing moving is at the bottom of the screen and you don't really want to be watching that. You want to be looking here or here. So I would just tone down that. Like, I like that he's doing a foot shift there. This, the mechanics are fine. It's just that the knee angle I would adjust. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not wearing makeup. And you could probably do something with these fingers. They feel a little stiff through there. Maybe just as he drops them, you get, I'm not wearing, I'm not a little flare. I'm um, I'm not. It feels like his thumb is like kind of penetrating his leg too. You could give it a little texture there. If it's going to be touching his leg, like that it rubbed it, you know, some sort of thing or just separate it just a bit. Um, so you don't have the feeling that it's like penetrating. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not wearing makeup. And then on this last gesture, I love how you're leading with the shoulder, but the shoulder kind of comes up and locks. It might be nice if it came up a few more frames. So it's still coming up, coming up. I would have it keep coming up and then start to come down. So it, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not wearing makeup, makeup. I guess the hand would have to move a little bit, but it's mostly just a little bit of the shoulder, not just coming to a stop all of a sudden. Makeup, makeup. And here's another moment of, it feels like you could probably compress his lids a little bit here. So as his brows come up, you feel the eyes open because that, that eye pose is great, but it feels kind of the same as this eye pose. So you could do a little flare of the lids with the uh, brows. Makeup. And then this here feels, I think this is what I drew that arrow that's staying on the frame for some reason. It feels a little bit broken that just one brow is moving. So if you're going to do that down on that brow, which I don't mind, I think it feels like a cool idea. I would just move this inner brow down a little bit more. 
because right now it feels kind of robotic. To, you can't really just move one brow very easily like that. And um, I like this last take he does, it's great, but I would maybe leave the brows up higher. It, it, it's, it's like you have this great surprise moment and you kind of get out of it by going back to the worry. I'd be more of like, huh? And then here, you could bring the brows down. Oh. And then back up to, okay. So it's like, hmm? Oh, okay. Right? Just three moves rather than one, two, three, with a little up. Oh. Four, oh. Oh. five. So you could simplify the brows at the end. Oh, okay. Makeup. I love the little lip sync mouth change here. But here's an example of you could feel, see how much the corners of the mouth move? You could feel maybe that nostril coming in a few pixels. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the way he opens the book is so natural. Obviously, you got some, must have had some really good reference for that because it feels like very weighty and, uh, you know, super appealing. So those are like very polishy notes. Hopefully, uh, they're helpful, but... <laughs> The shot's amazing. Congratulations. And uh, I'm sure you're going to win a lot more of these.